Hey guys, welcome back to another one of our videos. It's the Golden Family Empire. And today we are doing just the assembling of the banana pudding. Um, you will not see me make the pudding. You will just see me assemble the cookies and the banana. And then you'll see me pour over my pudding um, at the end. Okay, so first you want to layer. You want to put the bottom layer is going to be the Nilla wafer cookies. Um, Nilla, N-I-L-L-A those um vanilla wafers that's the one we're going to use and then um, you're going to cut you're going to get your banana after you do the first layer which is just the cookies you're going to layer those carefully and you want to take your time and layer them because once you pour the pudding um, then it's going to set and then you'll have nice layering when you get ready to spoon into your bowl so i'm cutting the bananas um how you want the thickness of them or the thinness of the bananas is your choice. I do mine like a medium cut. I don't do them really small and I don't do them really big. Okay, so you see me assembling them. And then after I do my first assemble of the banana, then I'm going to add more cookies on top of that. And you want to make sure that you cover all your cookies, all your bananas, sorry. You want to make sure you cover your bananas. With your next layer of your cookies so when you get ready to pour your um, pudding mixture over it, it's very hot and it won't burn your bananas so i'm going to cut another banana as you see i'm cutting it open and then i start my slices so about my pudding you're going to get your um hot uh what is it cook and serve pudding if you can find banana flavored cook and serve jello pudding that's great you don't have to put any extra flavoring in it but i couldn't find that right it's hard to find if you know then you know so what i did i used um jello's cook and serve vanilla pudding that's my little trick y'all i used that one and i add banana banana i can't talk today what's going on i add my banana flavoring to that pudding towards the end so when i get ready to do um if you watch my other video watch the main video of the banana pudding the whole assembling of it you'll see i add towards the end my vanilla i'll add my banana extract and i'll add my butter towards the end before we take it off the stove okay so now we're gonna assemble our bananas as you see I'm putting them over the banana, the cookies. The cookies are going over the banana. You're going to cover them. Try to cover them as much as possible. Take your time on this process because right now you haven't even done your pudding yet. Or unless you have somebody over there stirring your pudding. That would be great. Get your kids involved. Bring them inside. Get your husband involved. Have him stir your pudding. Either way, that will give you time to assemble your pudding. And you can assemble it. Take your time and do it. So you're going to keep covering your bananas with the cookies. Keep covering them. You want them covered because once you pour, it won't scald the bananas so fast. Because your mixture will be very hot when you pour it over. And you want to take it off the stove and then pour it right over. You don't want to wait because you want your pudding to go seep through all the layers. So I'm opening up another box of cookies so I can continue my layering. If I were you, I used gloves. Your hands kind of feel crazy using bananas like that. So you want to continue to cover. See how I'm covering those um, bananas? Make sure you cover them. Take your time and assemble your banana pudding correctly. And you will see it'll make a big difference when you pour your mixture and it's set. When you get ready to spoon it up, you'll see how it's set and how it's layered correctly. So you want to make sure you cover all of your um, bananas as much as possible with the cookies. And now you're going to do your next layer. More bananas. So you want to cut the ends of your bananas, then you slice through the middle, and then you want to make your slices. Like I said, I don't do a very thin slice. I don't do a very thick slice. I do a medium slice of the bananas. As you can see, 
And you just want to take it over, like hover over your, your pan. I got my glass Pyrex dish. Look at that. You just slice, do your slices. It's very tedious. This, this dessert is very tedious. Um, I like to make mine hot. Sometimes you can cover it with meringue and throw it in the oven. That's the old-fashioned way to do it. The old-fashioned way, they had a meringue on top. The new fashion, new way of doing it, we don't put a meringue on top. Or we um, let, let it cool all the way down or we make it cold and we put Cool Whip on top. So it's up to you. I would I would tell you to um, try it both ways. Try it hot. Try it cold. Try it with meringue. Try it with whipped cream. I think you'll like it. Comment down below which way you've had it or cooked it or tried it. If you've never tried it, um, tried it hot, comment that too. Let me know. And if you decide to make it, I would love to see a video or a picture of it. You can put it in the comments. Like I said, it's a tedious process of putting the layers, but then you want to cover your cookies. This is our last layer here. So what we're going to do is make sure all our um, bananas are covered with our cookies. There you go. Like I said, take your time and cover them. Make sure you cover them. It'll make a big difference. Let me know when you make yours. Um, by you doing it the assembling this way if you try it this way and you can push them down the reason why you see me pushing them down because i want to set the layers up so if you push it down it'll get get the layers be really tight and what that does when you get ready to dish it out it just evens your um, ratio of bananas and cookies that's all it does Please like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that bell. And so you know all our, when we have videos posting, you'll get a notification. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see your um, um, banana pudding results. Let me know how yours came out. You can also look on YouTube and we have our, um, on our channel, you will see the whole process of the banana pudding. This is just assembling it so I can show you guys. I just slowed it down a little bit um, so I can assemble and show you how to assemble it properly. Because I had a couple of people ask me about the assembling of the banana pudding. So that's why we did another um, video. Just assembling it. See how I'm pushing it down? Making sure my layers are tight. That's what I'm doing that for. So sometimes you want to do your little cleanup, get everything cleaned up. So you see how the layers are? That's how the layers are, guys. And then somebody was stirring. I think my husband was over stirring my pudding. And then we're going to bring the pudding over and then we're going to pour it over. And that'll conclude the end of our video. There we go, y'all. This is, this is it. This is the food porn. All right, y'all, like, share, and subscribe to this video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to comment down below. Let me know how you did. I would love to see a picture. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, my goodness. Can't wait to taste it. Oh, man. Ooh-wee. Now, that's good. I can watch this all day long. All right, guys, look at that. All right, guys, peace.